Two years ago, state lawmakers capped New Mexico's Hollywood rebates. In an effort to insert predictability into budgeting, lawmakers agreed that a $50 million rebate cap was enough. But Hollywood balked, if not at the reality of the cap, then perhaps at the rhetoric behind it. Now the legislature is looking to ease restrictions on film and TV production. Here's NMAF producer Matt Grubbs from the Roundhouse. Senator, when you took a look at the incentives that we're offering to film and TV production, what concerned you enough to introduce your bill? It's, a, it's an issue that's going to bring positive economic development to the state of New Mexico, and we've seen it in the past. And so what we want to do is we want to create, a, you know, we want to create legislation uh, that will continue to open the doors to the industry, to let industry know that New Mexico is open for business and our arms are open and we want to welcome them to the state of New Mexico. That involves lifting the cap to some extent for either well, film or Well, I don't know that we want to, you know, I don't know that we can lift the cap. Uh, the, you know, that's all going to depend on, um, on, uh, on Senator John Smith in the Finance Committee, you know, because, he, I mean, he's very critical of the numbers and he's very careful to make absolutely sure that, you know, we don't introduce legislation that's going to take New Mexico over the edge financially. Uh, Representative Maestas has a bill that he introduced on the House side that's a little bit different than the one that we're working on right now. But what we want to do, Matt, is we want to get a bill that everybody's comfortable with. Not everybody's going to get everything, but we've got to start working towards that goal where industry feels comfortable that New Mexico is available for them to come in and do business with us. For lawmakers who represent largely rural districts like yourself, it seems like the appeal of film and television production is that it may keep some of your younger people at home through programs at community colleges, um, at four-year institutions, and by providing that large crew base that is the other part of, of sort of what makes New Mexico attractive to the industry. There's debate over how much we actually get from the Hollywood industry or from t film and TV production. What do you think? What we're getting now is good. And um, we've just got to develop that, uh, uh, that, 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 that step where uh, our communities are going to welcome the industry in because they know that it develops a reputation, and so uh, a good reputation, and it attracts our kids from these small little towns. It's, it's money in the bank. And, um, you know, the industry itself... Uh, not only creates the economic drive that I think we need here in New Mexico, but it also advertises the state. San Jose, my little village, where they did all the pretty horses and all that. Well, people come drive through and they say, well, I, we want to see that little town that, that, where they filmed all the pretty horses. Uh, and they come in and uh, they'll shop at the little, at the re or they'll have dinner or lunch at the Risa re uh, restaurant there in Dravetta and uh, shop at the little grocery store, you know. That's what the industry does. It develops a tourist base. It develops a, repu a good reputation of the small communities in the, sta in the, in the state. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a positive economic drive. Senator, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Senator Neville, as it stands right now, we have a $50 million yearly cap on what we'll pay back for film and television production. Are we doing enough to keep that industry busy here in New Mexico? And also, are we getting enough back from that industry? Well, that's, that's a tough question. I can't tell you whether we get enough back. Uh, I'm certainly not opposed to it. I think the film, is a, film industry is a great thing, if for no other reason than advertising the state of New Mexico. So I'm, I'm, I'm supportive of the concept of, of the uh, film credits. Uh, as far as whether we expand those or do any changes on those, that's a function of what our revenue situation is going to be over this next year. And the projections are just now starting to come together. We're not going to have those for another well, week or two. Is that part of the reason a couple of years back that we instituted the cap to get kind of some of that predictability? Yes, exactly. There were studies, but the studies were all over the place, as right. you probably know. So we didn't know exactly where we were as far as... Uh, what the uh, film industry was doing for the state and what we could afford to uh, actually give us in the form of credits. 
when we spoke to Senator Griego a little bit earlier about the uh, piece of legislation that he's drafting, he said one of the appealing things about this is that it oftentimes brings economic development to parts of the state that it's really tough to get a business to come in there. I was in Angel Fire this last summer for a legislative meeting and there was uh, a Lone Ranger, I think, was being filmed up there. So there, it certainly uh, brings some excitement for those communities and I think it does bring some economic development for the smaller communities around the state. Uh, the, the thing is, is that New Mexico is heavily dependent on oil and gas. It's, it's at least a third of our total revenues, and oil and gas is flaky. You never know where it's at. Natural gas is in the, in the toilet, basically, as far as the, uh, the prices that we're getting for the commodity. Oil's done pretty well, but uh, because we don't know where we're at, and uh, with oil and gas and what's going on in the future, there's been some funny things going on with the oil pricing. Uh, the supplies are getting pretty, uh, pretty strong, so we don't know what we're going to be up faced uh, with over the next uh, next couple of years. So that's kind of where we're at as far as determining what we can do with these with the film credits. Is this reexamination of the film production tax credit um, part of the overall effort by legislators? It seems on both sides of the aisle to figure out a little bit more um, what we're getting from each one of these pieces of legislation that offers a, a cutout or a carve out for an industry. You know, there's one for everything you can imagine. We've got some kind of a credit or a gross receipts exemption or, or everything in the world. Those things are costing us, uh, I haven't heard the final figure, but millions of dollars every year uh, from the state revenues. Now, they're good if they actually do provide some kind of economic incentive to the communities, to the rural areas, to uh, advertising the state of New Mexico as the films do. But as far as what they actually cost us and what we can afford as a state government, we've got to analyze each of those and we've got to do a lot better job on all of those credits to make sure that we're getting the, the right bang for our buck and, as the case goes. Does it feel like that's a widely held opinion here on, on both sides of the aisle right now? I think so. I mean, there's obviously people who strongly support various uh, credits for, ver for different reasons. Uh, any one credit is not necessarily bad, but we haven't done a very good job of analyzing what each credit does as far as benefiting the state. Just giving a credit because you don't believe in, in um, taxes or, or uh, you want to have low taxes for an industry, that may or may not be good policy because uh, uh, that industry may actually consume more of state resources than, than some other industry. So we need to make sure that we're not giving credits where they're not, not appropriate. Senator Neville, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Senator Ryan, as you looked at the incentives that we offer um, to the film and television production industry, um, especially relative to other states, what did you feel needed to be changed with the bill that you're drafting right now? There, there's some changes that we need to make to show the film industry that we're open for business. I think there's some perception that uh, because we put a cap on, uh, on the program that, uh, that we might not be open for business or it might be difficult to get the incentives to the industry and the businesses that support the industry. And uh, uh, I want to clarify that Republicans uh, will support this bill uh, when we're done and uh, uh, we'll introduce it here in uh, short order. Specifically, are we talking about removing the cap on uh, the film credit altogether? Absolutely not. Uh, we want to keep the cap in and uh, uh, we need to do that to keep uh, Republicans and, and the governor supportive. Uh, but there are some things that we can do within the cap that would uh, uh, be good for the industry and, and those businesses that support the industry. Something like a year-to-year -year rollover? We, we, we are. Uh, I think you've, uh, you may have heard a little bit about the bill and, and that would be one of the provisions. Another provision would be to uh, uh, train New Mexico workers when, uh, when we don't have people in those fields that can uh, compete with uh, uh, the industry needs. Uh, so. We want them to come in, train our guys, uh, put some money towards those kinds of programs. Uh, that'll be in the bill as well. When we spoke to Senator Griego earlier, uh, one of the things that he noted was that states rush to keep up with each other with these incentives, as you know. But our crew base, the fact that we have so many people here who know what they're doing, um, has really proven to be an ace in the hole. Exactly, and uh, uh, that, that's where we need to separate ourselves from the others. Do you think we went too far a couple sessions ago when we made an effort to control what we pay back to these production companies? No, no, I think we can have a robust industry and, uh, uh, and do it within the cap, uh, you know, have some rollovers and, and, and do some things for, for uh, the businesses that support the industry, uh, for New Mexicans to get trained in the industry, so we've got that. 
from a campaign standpoint and certainly from a policy standpoint, this has been something that's important to the governor. Do you think it's something that she's going to sign? Well, I would hope so. Uh, you know, and I think this is also going to be a little bit of a moving target. There's a bill in the House. Um, we want to reach out to the House members and uh, uh, see if there's some things that they've got in their bill that we uh, may like. Uh, but at the end of the day, we want it to be supported by the governor, supported by a majority of Republicans and Democrats, and we'll work really hard to do that. Senator Ryan, thanks for your time. Well, Representative Maestas, thanks for taking a few moments. Talk to us about House Bill 379 and what you saw in the way that we're trying to attract the film and television industry that needed changing. Well, we need to do everything to boost the film industry in New Mexico. It, it uh, took a hit a couple years back when the cap was instituted because we haven't even reached the cap. So this does several things while maintaining the cap. And that was the priority of the governor and, and concerns of others. But it allows, uh, if we don't reach the cap in a given year, it allows us to roll it over. For example, if, if movie and TV producers get 35 million in tax breaks one year, that 15 million that wasn't used can then roll over to the next year. And, that, and that's an that's a instant boost to the industry and our economy and jobs um, throughout the state. Also, what we've realized is that television programs provide even a more economic boom than, than, the, than the movies. A successful TV series shoots, you know, about, say, 10 or 15 shows in a year, and then they come back the following year. So we want to incentivize TV shows an additional 5%. Well, so it's useless to introduce something that the governor won't sign unless you can override it. Um, it sounds like you're already reaching out both to the fourth floor and to the industry to make sure that this is something that's palatable to everyone involved. Exactly. I'm working with the industry, the governor's office, uh, uh, the Senate, and the House uh, minority, the Republicans in the House, because the governor is committed to maintaining the cap, and we respect that. And so this is providing economic boom, uh, jobs, and a boost to the film industry while maintaining the cap. Did we go too far in, in trying to rein this in initially? I mean, I know we went from giving out $100 million to the rebate or for the rebate to about 50. Is that too far? I think the, the cap as a policy, I think, is bad policy. But what was more damaging was trying to get rid of the incentives in the first place and the rhetoric that came from, uh, frankly, from the governor. It just sent the wrong message to Hollywood. It sent the wrong message to the local film producers and writers and talent. Uh, Senators Griego and Ryan and the bill that they're drafting have talked about having something that would require um, out-of-state crews that come in uh, to have some sort of a training element for the existing New Mexico crews. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense, uh, particularly in the long run, because we want to boost jobs in the short run, but we also want to welcome the industry in the long run. And so the more local writers, producers, set designers, makeup artists, actors, uh, we can develop in New Mexico, the better off we're going to be. Because I truly believe that our human capital in New Mexico can compete with any human capital in the country. And as long as we send a strong message to the industry that the government is solidly behind the industry with, uh, uh, with these new incentives, then uh, I think it'll be a win-win for all of us. All is not lost, in your opinion. No, all is not lost. Uh, but it did, uh, the industry did take, uh, went elsewhere, frankly. The industry went to Canada, Louisiana, and we want to bring them back. Representative, thanks for your time. Thank you.